You're so young. How do you not like pastry fields or custard? Oh. You're so young. Okay, folks, we are back. <laughs> and uh, I left you guys off. We are back pretty much where we left off. It's probably most, the most appropriate thing to say. So, last video. We got the part pretty much to a state of wiring the PLS and power shit on. So basically everything is wired in besides from the Anna and which needs to go here. Here which is gonna go uh, some more X digital fuses. I have two coming on Monday. And then I need to order six more. So there's gonna be that one and then that one and then that one and that one. And then these two are gonna be replaced as well. Then we'll see what the fuck I decide to do with these. This 10 amp will probably stay as far as the uh, MCE goes unless I swap that out to 6 amps as well. Uh, this one is going to be changed out to Eaton 25 amps. So pretty much all our fuses in the M is going to be Eaton. I'll probably buy an Eaton 16 amp as well to throw in there for the one phase. See right there. Then we have our currently quote on quote three phase plus neutral. Even though it's still only a 230 volt system because it's only leg three, leg three, leg three, neutral, 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 or leg one, leg one, leg one. So we're basically feeding in three of the same legs to L1, L2, L3, and then all the neutrals, so our three L1s are just getting dumped straight into the neutral, so... Because before, when I had it set up earlier, the neutral was only connected to the last fuse, which means this one 13 amp fuse was taking the... Uh, quote-unquote second phase of two other loads, quote-unquote, which is these two. So I've now distributed them across all three and chunked her in. So it says 415 AC, although it's technically still 230, but once I get my uh, transformer for this from two phase to um, three phase plus north, then this will officially be 40, 415 out of there. So good shit. So that is the plan. So the plan now, is to slunk along that cable which we need some zip ties for and a cutter so um if i get a zip tie here now i'm gonna show you guys what the plan here is now the funny thing there's not even a point really for me to go on the top step because if i do then i'll be standing in the roof but uh, oh well so this cable is a little thick for quote unquote uh, the current cable we are attaching in, which is the, the SA bus but oh well. well we, we will make it work. Right. If we do it close to the clamps, it should be fine, right? All the well there again. Depends on how good in the clamps are over, over. Mm. You know, I would do this the more proper way, which is quote unquote, well, not zip ties, but uh, no proper clamps. And I have proper clamps, but it's a Sunday, or not a Sunday, but a Saturday. It is um, doo -doo 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 -doo. like what, seven or something in the morning? No, I'm gonna try and be a little bit uh, good to my neighbors, quote unquote. Mm. 
Besides, when I actually get done with snipping all these, then things are obviously gonna look a lot better. So, director mode. So, cable is ram. Now it's a snip snip time. That is probably a solid at least five or seven meters of cable. Granted, not to say I haven't used a fair amount of cable from that thing before. Cough, cough. <laughs> Don't speak about that. But, you know, it's uh, alternate shit because you're out of the bulk material of it. So then you need to take from alternate sources. So good shit. And this is the point where we give her a jank. And by any luck she just pulls through. With no issue and uh, we can call... Ah, the door is open. Lol. Good shit! Then I should be able to just feed the rest in from the outside. You know what? I'll shrunk a zip tie there. Just because it's gonna look neater. Wherever I now threw my zip ties. Because those are shucked somewhere. Where I shucked them, I don't know. And that's the problem. Lul. Where did I chuck them? That's the problem. Oh, fuck me. How does this always happen? And those are crap. There they are. Because those literally fuck themselves like... I don't know. All I know is that they were a pain. Then this is the rest of the cable we have, so this may or may not be enough to reach to maybe the kitchen. If it is enough to reach to the kitchen, then well, huh, lucky for us, we have another heater on. If it does not reach, then well, then I guess we are. Buying more cable then, I guess. But now, at least one bloody fucking oven will be on. 
This bloody PLC. <sighs> but now after I have snipped that one fucking zip tie, wherever the fuck, then all my work in the hallway is done. For now, until we run for that shit. That is. Why are you tightened all the way? Literally, I think I need a new headband soon. This headband is starting to get shawak. So, if you guys watched a few videos ago, you guys will know that this oven is now just a straight run. Well, you're telling me ground, but... Uh, there is supposedly the binding post for Ugh. why <laughs> just stupid annoyances cuz why not So you are seeing ground right there. Well, I do not see any ground here. Now, are you above straight through the chassis is then the question. It doesn't look like you are. No. If we pull this one forward like this, strip, and we then pull it back. So that way we have that slack cool and hot that we need is for that that means that one will be sitting fine there which means we can pretty much cut this boy right there and then do a few more strippy strips and uh, this boy will be off of there. There we go. Good shit. So then these two straight forward right on the here. The ground. The only way I see of doing this ground is literally take a fucking round boy. Smack it on there. Take a normal fucking screw and just ram it through the oven. Because I literally see not a single grounding post on this fucking shit. Guess we're using this one then. Because it's the only the one I can think of that will thread in. And so that way nobody doesn't get hurt. I'll bond it on this side because that is the side people are less likely to put their hands rather than on top. So. So there we go, oven is bonded, good shit. Then these just go out here, and these just do good shit, so... Strip. And then strip. Now, where is my phone? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna bring you so I can take a picture of that. Jesus. So, I managed to bond the oven ish. It's just a little spice point. But it's bonded to ground now, so good shit. Now it's just click click and good day. So, uh, what I did not bring was uh, fairings. But that again, I think those fairings are too big anyways. And yes they are, because uh, the, the, the 1.5s will fit, but those will not fit, so. Okay, hello, welcome back. So. I moved 
the outlet up here. Fine and all good. Then I took my multimeter and measured from one leg to the screw, which is basically the ground since it doesn't have any ground pins. And I got 140 volts. If you remember earlier, from one leg we had 28. From the other leg we had 240. If you look at the power strip, it's no longer lighting up. Ground okay. Live to live. Uh, live to live. 227. Leg one to ground. Um, um, Shall I be concerned? You get what I mean. You get what I mean. Um, which is kind of hard because I'll um, you, but I'm just letting you know, putting it out there. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I want a hard and furless of. Oh, wow. So, six to one, like, this one's too. Um, so, there we have 139.6 volts. Then we have the other leg, 123 volts. So 123 corresponding to, oh, come on, hit it, 130, 139, 122. So the ground is definitely uneven, but at least the ground is back down to acceptable levels. Jeez. So you uh, fancy shit. But over my point is something is maybe funky with that rack. I don't know. Anywho, I have 140 to ground here, so as far as in here from what that is saying, my ground is fine. So good shit. So Now, fish of the day. Does Lavoy remember the input list here? Because we moved stuff around and I don't even think our old planogram even makes sense anymore. Uh, uh, contactor, floor, heat, bathroom, contactor. Yeah. None of the. Ah, that is the fuses. Uh, I don't even think the visual file is correct anymore, to be completely frank with you, so we may need to just log in to CCT and look at it that way. Because I don't think even the fucking proper shit is uh, correct. Cool, what? If that's the way to say it. <sighs> so, good shit. Well, it is time for routing PLS. Now, is this paper even correct is the question? Lul. Because I don't think it is. No, it's not. But that is easy to change. Really? Or no, because that is that one. So no, that is not that easy to change. So that actually, well, I mean, this entire planogram needs to change at one point. So. Good shit. So that's something I'm gonna work on later, but uh, for the time being, CCT and the program that already exists. So yeah.
and the program that already exists is uh, Oscars Fancy ID uh, Splitted Activity Per Room Name change now, but I think I updated you, didn't I? I updated you, I'm pretty sure And that should mean that the activity should be flipped, so off should be the default state So uh, well, looking at this, it doesn't look like that. <laughs> Off. Uh, I'm not familiar with it's fine. Or, yeah, it, or no, yes, it actually. Well, it is. It is the correct program, it just isn't, uh, quote unquote, uh, slunked correctly. But my point assignments are still the same. So bathroom, floor, bedroom, studio, kitchen, hallway. Uh, not that those are in the correct order though, but uh, hallway, bathroom. Uh, so that is not moved around. Ah oh, yeah, because this is based off the original, that's why. So I have to move those around, then I can do that. Okay, I know the shit. It is the correct. Basically what happened here uh, was that I, um, I made a new program, but I based it off of like the old program, quote unquote, so original program, so nothing here was correct. So basically, kitchen heater is last. Then studio heater. Then, bedroom heater, well, then floor heater, then hallway heater, then, or then bedroom heater, and then everything here will be correct. So that is our order. It is a uh, wiring time. Okay, good shit. So, this is when clunky boy, clunky boy, clunky boy. Then, well, fairings come as they go. So, hallway. So, that is the hallway. So you are a strippy boy. Then we take a grey fairing. Then we crimpy crimp. So then number one here. Ah, I forgot. I need to do snip snip to this. I forgot. I need to do snip snip to this. Because these are longer than the old boys. So good shit. But other than that, it should be to just. Um, Um, did I grab the two big screwdriver? Okay, I'm wondering if these got swapped now. Uh, no, they did not. This is the small boy. Well, maybe it's just me then. There we go. So there is your that one. Then bathroom heater, which becomes BO2, yes. So hallway, floor heat, kitchen, studio, 
bedroom, bathroom. So you are the bathroom boy. Uh, bathroom? Um, did I just grab the bathroom? No, I did not. There is the bathroom. Okay, good shit. Good shit, good shit. I thought I grabbed the fucking bedroom, but uh, no, I did not. So, good shit. Good shit. This is bathroom. No, because I don't mind a nice little bundle, like in the bottom. I don't mind that. That just means that if we need to read out anything, which we anyways are gonna have to do with the, when the FEC comes there, then we have the space. As for how we're gonna mount it, however, <clears throat> We don't speak about that, maybe come some boards and nuts and some screwy screw and some fancy shit. But at least for now, it's the NCE handling that, so great shit. Great shit. And you guys are probably asking me, well you have the NCE, why bother with the IOM and the FEC? And well, to be honest, to answer that question, it's... It's me we're talking about, that's all I can really say. I I have a hobby with this stuff. As well as well, planning to go, potentially go high school again when I get my license and actually become a full-fledged electrician. And well, if everything goes to plan, work together with Oscar, so... Yeah, so... Yeah, Mio, your timing is uh, very great to go bye-bye. Who's in Twitch at the moment? Well, Mika is alive, so I guess, Mika, here we go. I don't know how loud this is going to be, so... Yeah, good shit. So, there we go. Then the next is studio heater, and studio heater is indeed BO5, so studio. There we go, and then Mr. the last one will indeed become the kitchen here, so. And this one is bedroom floor, uh, bathroom, hallway radio. There is the kitchen feed. So I'm gonna try to eat her out without causing too much of a tangled mess. Then try to feed her back in there and then strip her and then prep her and then run it all into the PLS. And uh, once this one is in, the only thing to wire in is a few buttons, quote unquote, and then, well, the SA bus and bada bing bada boom. Well, I don't have to wire it in. I can override it from CCT supposedly, but oh well, we might as well wire it in. But I'm not gonna actually mount it on the door simply because because uh, uh, the plan is to get another type of switch to go on the actual door. So yeah, so. Yeah, we, we, we will have a look at that later. Now, I don't know what the fuck happened to this boy, but uh, here we are. It uh, did funk shit. Okay, so we are back and we are about to pull the first power through uh, this uh, rack. So, fun shit's about to go down. So, first power test of the system is about to commence. So, pause you, then... Hibernate. Then once you are hibernated... We are gonna do fun shit. 
Are you hibernated? Yes. Then we are going to plug out this one from here. We're going to plug it into this one. Turn over on our mains here. Then we are going to turn on the amp meter. Turn on our fuses. And then we'll see how many amps. But I saw a spike of four amps. One amp. Ah, good shit. Fire up the system. One amp, one and a half amp. I mean, we're laying at about an amp so far, so we're barely using power. And this is the rail, right? Yes, that's the rail. 1.2, 1.3, we're steadily climbing, but the rack is now on power. Well, the other screens are coming on, so now we're up in two amps. Then... Once everything is back on here, which apparently broke everything. Oh, jeez. Well, we are at the two amps, so we're doing good. So good shit. Damn, it is to rip that shit out. <laughs> mm. I am. Um, this is uh, a roller coaster and a half, I can say. Now, this one is going to be fun because this one has to come out the back. So, fun shit. Then we're going to swap out that cable in its full length because that is 10 meters and I know there's not 10 meters from here with like a roll of slack in the back over there and over there. <clears throat> so I know that will work. The only thing that's going to be a pain is actually working inside the PDU because uh, it's module based. And that makes it 10 times more a pain to work on. So good shit. Good shit. Think boy, there is your strips here. There you go. Now you can bloody move it forward and bend it back and then uh, slunk it out the back the way you wish, quote unquote. So you can see this is my current solution. As far as strain relief, which well, it's kind of working, but also kind of jank. If we can screw a nipple in there and run that through a nipple, then that is obviously the ideal way to go. So, uh, that is what I'm going to try to do. Now I just need to figure out how the hell I wrapped this shit together back in 2022, whenever the fuck I actually made this thing over to a three-phase. Plug. But now we're putting her back on a, still a C-plug, but a correct C-plug, a one-phase C-plug and not a three-phase C-plug, so good shit. Oh, so then I need the screwdriver. Now, you are Torx uh, uh, 10, probably. Probably. Either that or a Torx 15, but the thing that seems most likely is uh, a T10. Uh, no, that is a T15, yes. Well, it certainly seemed like a T15. And yes, I'd be correct. Now I have a feeling I'm gonna need a smaller boy. So a smaller boy I will do. Now none need the fuck. Not on where my ass da.
Now the one that's gonna be a pain in here to do is the ground because mm, the ground in here is a pain in the butt because of how tight it is in there. Looking for a washer for a while. So there we go. There is your one ground wire. Then there is your other quote unquote crush washer. Then you have your normal long ass nut, which is on the actual ground, which actually bonds to the chassis, which is your ground from your cable. But luckily this one is a little easier to get off though, because it's a normal nut. So there you go, and then eh, off comes your ground. Then out comes quote unquote your uh, mm, taped to hell shit. Uh, either your front or your back, depending on. So. Now I just got to figure out how I've done this shit because I did this. I believe if you go back far back on YouTube, I have a video on this where I did all this. Basically, all of this is going to be replaced with Vagos. Lul. Uh, Vagos is going to be plenty because this looks like two cables to two cables heat shrinked into another cable so really three vago problem solved um ah well i mean uh, we see how ah hi mika Um, well, that is your old cable, uh, then, um, shall I even be asking? Well, that is your three cables. The question is, do I trust these? Because I don't know if these were done. I think this maybe was done from factory actually. So I think I'm fine with these splices, but definitely not that. So these splices look factory and feels factory because there's a crimp there so Vago Vago that is the ID Vago is the ID uh, I think that's just after the heat shrink I think because I think I did that with a lighter So there we go, secure Vagos. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Peep, 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 peep. So, here is your old cable. Now, that nipple. Will you fit on here? Well, um, nerds, yes. So the one that's gonna be the most pain is the ground. These are just vago vago. But the ground is... Connector uh, yeah. helvete. And the thing is, I think I need to use yellow for you. 
because of how thick boy you are unless I can use blue. But if not, then it is yellow, and if that's the case, well, then that's gonna be a time. Boy, I already know that. So, um, strip, strip. If that even works any good on those cables. Because, yeah, I've had the both, to be completely honest with you. Now, we can do this the easy way, or the quote-unquote... Oh, yeah. Well, first of all, that one wasn't tightened down all the way, but even with that tightened, yep. It's the stupid cables, which I'm gonna have to use an exacto knife to open, because they are a pain. What if I can fucking hit the hole that is? So yeah, I can cut it like this short. Lol. And then feed it through and I'll still be fine, so. So lol. Because then what I can do is do the uh, ground bottom. Then I can do the bottom ground. Lull. Like that. Then I take those other nippers, wherever those took the way. Well, I know I had them here. Because this one is a pain to do any of these ones with, but oh well, there you are. Then we need to slunk. Oh, come on. Just, eh, eh. There you go. Then that's where the fun begins, because then comes your... Oh no, wait a minute. Oh, fuck. I knew there was something. Because first comes the crush washer. Then comes the cable. Then comes the normal. There you have what we are trying to avoid. That is a perfect example of how not to do that. Then we get the quote unquote uh, pre stripped uh, stuff. Then we have the blue, which obviously goes with the blue. The ground, which well, obviously goes. Mm. With the ground, and then the live, which well, obviously goes with the live. Then we need to quote unquote snur around this shit and then stop it on there again. Now this is what I meant about this boy becomes tight boy. 
So now this one is a uh, one face again. So well, basically what it was. Now, did you have a washer on you that went to hell or had that one already gone quote unquote eaten? I think it had already gotten quote unquote eaten. So good shit. So there we go. So now. Before we put it back in the rack, we're just gonna quickly give it a test. Mm. So... Yeah. No problem. There we go, no problem. Then this one can slunk back in the rack. So come on. I know you will fit. Or I'll make you fit. Yep, yep, there we go. Or is that nipple actually in the way? Are we actually reaching that problem? Is that nipple actually right in the way? Are we reaching that problem? You must be joking me. Mm -hmm. I had a plan. It was gonna work so well. But no. It was not. Which means I have to pull this panel off. Run the cable bear in there and do the same tape stuff I did earlier because that is not gonna work. Oh, great. Okay, guys, we are back. I have calmed down a bit and I find an, found an alternate solution. Basically, if I remove one of the inserts at the back and I just tighten down, this one will be in kind of a clamp by this one. So as long as nobody like fucking janks on this shit or anything, the clamping force by itself will be enough to hold this one in. <sighs> Which means now we can quote unquote screw everything back in. This cable will just be slunking out the back like it was nobody's problem. And I wouldn't have had to go through all of the fucking struggling and pain that I just went through, so good shit. Well, these rack mounts for the net gear is uh, having a great time, I see. Oh, that is the one without the uh, washer. Oh, so that is you, and that is you, and we're only missing two for you, but then there was a screw here, which is for the router, so... Then, well, that goes back in the rack, or well. When I get that box, which is the PFSense box, so... Good shit. But overall, oh, well, we are getting her together. Soon we can have. Oh my god, wow! Ow! Oh, everything is just going downhill now, folks. Then, wherever the fuck you supposedly be? Um, apparently, just laying on top of here, I think. Okay, so now we're at the point where 
everything which is going here are kind of going here so now we need to lay out this power so i want there to be like a roll or two of just cable laying in the back here for the simple reason of being able to easily move the rack forward if need be So you are the shorter boy, which means you are the one which is gonna go here. Then we have the other boy, which probably is maybe gonna have to be cut as well because Maybe not actually. Yeah, there's a fitting enough opening that they're actually coming out quite well. Would you look at that? The, si the systems are working. Wow! The systems are working. We. Then, really, if I just make a little bit of a snip snip right there, I can actually. Make more fancy shit, which makes it so that way I can actually keep this extension cord here. If I do a snip snip right there, well, that snip snip was very effective. <laughs> Lol. Where is my phone? It, it is coming. It is uh, coming along. Wow. <sighs> it's coming along. Wow. Which I don't think this one can go all the way. Ah, oh, well. Before anything can go anywhere, uh, shit back here needs to move on. Quote on quote, which. <clears throat> It requires uh, a good shit. Puff, puff. So this is the point where uh, uh, this boy has to pop open. to slump down this cable real quickly then as soon as that cable is true we can move on with our lives like nothing ever happened Then the only thing that quote unquote happened here was dropping you down. And a little bit of a replug. And other than that, this just slunks out the way. This slunks underneath there nice and tidy and then slunks along and 
Would you believe it if I said that was basically a perfect amount of cable? Oh. Good shit, so that means our three phase slunky donk madness that was going on here is now bye bye. The only thing left now is to throw that channel on. And once that channel is on, that project is out of the way. But now this one needs power. Are you guys even still recording? Probably. Anywho, I'm out of here for a minute.